Hello and welcome back. Today I want to talk about feelings. I mean about masks and how you can layer masks on the fusion page to create different motion graphics effects. On the edit page, create a fusion clip. Add to your timeline and they jump over to the fusion page. Drag a background node onto your node graph. In the inspector change the background color as desired. Here I have made it green. Now add one rectangle mask and then two ellipse masks to the node graph. Connect them together as shown and connect the rectangle mask into the background node. Node will leave the second ellipse mask unconnected for now. When you connect a mask to the mask input, signified by the blue input, of another mask, you will find a new parameter made available in the inspector called paint mode. This allows you to determine how DaVinci Resolve treats overlapping masks. As it is at the moment, you won't find much has changed. If you move a mask about you will see that by default the mask will just overlap. Now go to your first rectangle mask and change the paint mode to invert and make the mask big enough to fill the screen. You should now see that the connected ellipse mask cuts a hole in the rectangle mask. Connect the second ellipse mask into the mask input of the first ellipse mask. Make sure to change the paint mode on the first ellipse mask to invert as we did with the rectangle. We are now going to animate this together to make a transition out of these masks. Go to the beginning of your composition, move the rectangle mask so it is above the screen. Set a keyframe against the center values. Move forward about 10 to 15 frames or whatever you prefer and set the Y value to be 0.5, this will move the rectangle mask back to the center again. With ellipse 2 selected go to the beginning again then set a keyframe and set the width and height to 0. Move forward again about 10 to 15 frames and set the height and width values, here I have set it to 0.5 and 0.5 so it remains a circle. With the first ellipse mask selected move this off to the left hand side of the screen, so it is completely off the viewable area. At about frame 25 set a keyframe for the ellipse mask where it is off the screen. Move forward on the timeline to about frame 75, then move the ellipse mask all the way to the right hand side of the screen. When you play this back you will see the ellipse fill in the central hole of the mask as it slides across the screen, you can use this as your transition point. For the animation you can also load up the splines panel and smooth the animation to give you an ease in and ease out effect. I won't cover this right now, but I have other videos that explain the spline editor. And finally we can add some additional effects if you want to change the look slightly. With the background node selected, press shift and space to open the tool search and find the drop shadow. This will add the drop shadow between the background node and the media out node. Play with the settings to your liking, it will help separate the motion graphic elements from your underlying image or clip. Press shift and space again and add a displace node after the drop shadow. Then drag on a fast noise node and connect it to the displace node as shown. With the fast noise node selected change the seed rate to 0.3 or to your liking. Go to the displace node and change the refraction strength to 0.25 or to your liking. And finally we want to remove the circle frame to complete the transition. With at least two masks selected, set a keyframe on width and height near the end of the composition, in this case about frame 100, then move to the very end and increase the size of width and height until the mask is off the screen. The only thing that is left is to adjust composition over the top of the clips that you are transitioning so it cuts when the ellipse passes over the center. We can jump back to the edit page to do this. And that's it. Hope you found this useful, please subscribe.